Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will see the concept of DTEXEC command line utility. Now this utility can be used to execute our package either directly from physical folder that is the DTSX file lying in a folder in our physical file system or it can be used to execute our package after it has been deployed to SQL Server Integration Services Catalog. Now, for the purpose of this video tutorial, we will continue from the example used in our last video tutorial on if file exists. Okay, so let us just revise that example. In this particular package, we are first checking with the help of script component. We are checking if the file is existing or not on in a given specified folder provided by where underscore file path variable. So this is the variable. So if file is existing in this particular path or not, that is checked first. Based on that, the value of this variable, that is if file exists variable, which is a Boolean variable, is updated by the script component. So if the value is true, that is the file is existing, then we go to the sequence container in the sequence container, we first of all truncate our country master table and then reload the data in the country master table from the file which is specified in the variable. So this will be the file from which data will be loaded in the country master table. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, I am having these commands which we will execute for executing the DTEXE command line utility. Also, let us see the database table. So currently the country master table is having zero records. Now, in order to run DTEXE command line utility, we have to first of all go to CMD, that is command prompt. In command prompt, if you type DTEXEC, then it will show you as a 64-bit command line utility. Corresponding version for 32-bit is also available. If you are using Excel source in your in your package, then as the JET driver will work for 32-bit only, then you may have to use the 32-bit command line utility. In our case, we can use the 64-bit command line utility. Now, it is nothing but a, just a command line utility, which means we'll have to fire commands, DOS commands, right? So, first of all, we have deployed, we have gone to this deploy option and we have deployed our this particular package inside integration services catalog. Okay, so there will be a SSI DB database in the which we have DTEXEC underscore utility. This is the folder in which we have deployed our project. Inside that, there are multiple projects and out of which this is our project. If file exists, load file. Okay, so this is the this is the project which has been deployed over here. Now, inside the project, there are there can be multiple packages. In our example, there is only one package and package is if file exists, load file. So, this is that particular package. Now, this is the structure of the packet deployed on SQL Server Integration Services Catalog. Now, with the help of this command line utility, let us see how can we execute this particular package which is already lying in SQL Server Integration Services Catalog. So now, first will be DTEXEC command, then the, pa of the parameters or attributes that we will specify is IS Server, that is Integration Services Server. So, over here, we have to specify the full path of the package which is deployed inside integration services catalog. So we will start the path from SSISDB, then will come the folder, then will come the project and then will come the package itself that is DTSX file itself. So that is exactly the way in which this particular command is written. So after uh, integration services server, we have to specify SSISDB then the folder, then the 
project and then the DTA, DTSX file. Okay, so this is how the command has been created. Then we have to specify on which server this particular DTSX file has been deployed. So, so the server is this particular string. Now how I got this string? When I go to connect database, so the here, here is the string specified. So I can copy and use in the command. So once this command is created, now let us execute the same command which we have copy pasted in our S command prompt. Okay, so let us execute this command. So the command got executed, that is our package dtsx file got, got executed in 0 0.094 seconds. Now, one thing worth mentioning over here is if you execute your packages using dtexec command line utility, then it will have very good performance improvement as compared to executing them from the Visual Studio, that is your bits business intelligence development studio because bits has to log everything has to maintain the debugging information whereas this particular command line utility can work quite faster than that so for if you want to measure the performance of your dtsx package then this can be the best option that is the execute it inside dtexec command line utility then you can uh, measure your the performance of your SSIS package. Now, once we have executed this, let us go and verify in our table, right? So four rows should be inserted. So we can see now four rows have been inserted. So let us delete those four rows. So now again, there are zero rows. Now the file that we executed is actually lying in this particular folder. So this is the file. This is the package file which is lying in this particular folder. So what we have done in the second example, we want to execute this particular package file right from the physical folder where it is lying. So we'll have to specify forward slash f as the as the option. Forward slash f stands for file. Okay. Now we have to provide the full path okay of the dtsx file where in the where it is lying inside this folder okay so that's what we have done so let us copy this slash f attribute along with the file path full path let us go and paste it over here and let us execute it so again our command has executed successfully which means four records must have been inserted and as we can see, four records are there, which means our command executed successfully. So now let us again delete. So now again, there are zero records. Now for the third example, we want to pass values for these variables. That is, we have got this variable, file path variable, based on which the whole logic is working. So what we want to say, we want to pass this value of this variable from the command line itself. So how can we do that? Let us see the command. The first is the dtexec command followed by slash f and the full path of the dtxx file where it is lying. Okay. Then the option to be used is slash set set. If you use this option, then we can set the value of the parameter or the variable which is being used by this particular dtsx file package so the slash package okay backslash package is a keyword okay you don't have to write the name of the package you have to specify backslash package this is a keyword okay this means that the parameter is lying or the variable is lying inside the package now this particular variable is a package level variable because the scope is at the package level Okay, so that's why we have specified over here that we want the pack the variable to be present at the package level. If the variable was at the data flow level, then after backslash package, we should write dot 
data flow okay and then only we can go ahead with this particular syntax of dot variables then the full name of the variable that is user double colon where underscore file path that is the name of the variable and it is defined in user schema so that's why it is user double colon while uh, where underscore file path then dot properties into square bracket value this is the syntax now followed by the semicolon and the value that we want to pass for this particular variable and this the value that we want to pass is the full file path and the full file path is this one now let us provide an incorrect file path right so correct one was up to here i have added extra one okay i have just entered one over here so that this file doesn't exist in the required folder now so the path is now incorrect one this is the whole uh, value that is pa being passed to the slash set attribute into single into double inverted quotes so now as this particular file does not exist no records should be loaded in our database table okay so there are right now zero records now let us copy paste this particular command let us first of all fire cls so let us copy paste this command let us click enter so this time the file does not exist so the package will execute successfully because the package will come to this particular if condition mentioned inside our script component and it will then not proceed ahead because the it will find that file is not existing at this location so it will not proceed ahead so the package will execute successfully but no data will be loaded so let us uh see in our database table there are no records loaded now let us make only one change that is let us correct the path okay so i have just deleted one that i had typed over here at the end of the name of the file now everything is the whole file file path is correct so let us say enter so now the package has executed successfully and now it should be having four records inserted and that's what we can see over here so this means that our command line utilities have all worked properly and correctly and all commands have worked successfully and we are able to execute our package from different locations like we are able to execute from ssis integration catalog and also from the physical folder so i hope friends this particular video tutorial on dt exec command line utility is useful to you thank you